Yeah. He, I'm sure he's going to smile when you learn all those for him. That's all. One thing's for sure, you're going to learn. Have, I have yeah, a, we, we know Ernie's going to use them. That's for sure. That's for sure. Aren't we having had, Yomi on uh, Shemesh Mol? He had a set of, he had, what's the name of it? Susie? Sue? Okay. By the way, Walter, there's a, Ram, there's a Rambam that you should keep. It, it's this big. It's like a chosen. It's like a chosen's rambam. You've never. I mean, it's. I, I've got the same rambam. The the, the same one, right? I've got the same <laughs> one. I got. I got it as a chosen. Don't worry. You can. You understand? He's, he's a. It, it's an unbelievable rambam. I, I've I got told a huge, Demi and Esky, I, I, I've got you a, Give I've, it to one of your grandchildren for bar mitzvah or something. It, it's really something. Uh, just as a mascara. Okay. Okay. So we are on, we are on, we're gonna learn Daf Pei 80, and it's Ayin Tesom and Bez on the bottom, Gufa. Haresha Yisrael Mechzatoi to Mechzatmein. We learned that if, if, if the Klai Yisrael is 50 50, so Halalu Oisin Latzman, Halalu Oisin Latzman, Rav held, each one, you, you, you do Pesach Rishon, each one does it independently. But if the number of Tomei people were even one person more, then that pushes everybody over in Yasu Betuma. Then the Korban Pesach could be done in the state of Tuma. Lefishain Korban Sibur Choluk. You don't, you can't divide the Sibur then. Rabbi Yezer Masya Oimer, he disagreed. Eina Yachid Machris at Sibur Latuma. One person cannot tip the scale. Shunamar. Which implies he a one a single person should not be the decider. So if one shevet became tame, the whole shevet is tame, and all the other shvatim are tohirim, so then they break up into groups. Halalu oisin latzman, halalu oisin latzman. My time, Rabbi Shimon. So far, shevet echad ikri kohol, because what a shevet is called a kohol, because when Yaakov, when Yaakov was alive, he said goy v'kahal goyim yemi mecca. He gave bracha to the Ephraim of Nasha. He already had, had all of his shvatim. He had everybody except Binyamin. Oh, Hashem blessed him before he went back on the way. Yeah. When he escaped from Lavan, Hashem told him, Go kahal goyimi Mecca. And he was only going to have one more child, Binyamin. So from here you see that one shaman is called a kohal. And therefore it's considered like a tzibor. And a tzibor is not pushed over to Pesach Sheni. So each group does by themselves. My time is Rav Shimon, Ksav Rav Shimon Echad Ikri Kohol. Rav Yudah Oymar Filu Shimon Echad Tomei. Ushar Kol Hashvatim Tomei. Yasu Kulam Betuma. One Shevet pushes everybody to do the Korban Pesach Betuma. She ain't Korban Sibur Cholu. If it's a, if it's already a Sibur doing it, you can't have a divided Sibur. Everybody has to do it together. Because Rav Yudah Savar, like Rav Shimon, She Shevet Echad Ikri Kohol. And therefore, it's like, even though you have one shaven against 11, each one is a call. And therefore, it's considered pago pago. It's like 50-50. And therefore, everybody would do it in the state of Tumma. Itma. So they have the following machloikas. Hi, Yisrael. 50-50. Amar Rab. You know what they did? Mitamin echod mehem. Besheretz. They would purposely take a Torah person, have him hold his sherets, so they would be metame him. And now that pushed everybody over to, to now the robot zebra is tame, and then everybody does it betuma. Afraid to of Amai? Why is that better? Why not Like we said, the practice when you were 50 50, let each one do betahara, well, not betahara. 
one group would do betahara, the other one would do it in a state of tumma. But each one, why do you have to go through this process where everybody does it? Like Arab said himself, Alalu Oisin Pesak Latma, Alu Oisin Matma. Amri Yochamai Skinon. We're already talking about Shahayu Tmein Oitfin Alatoim Beachad. There was already one extra person that already tipped the scales. Well, Iachi, if that's the case, Abdul Rubin Tmein, then you already have 51%. You already have the majority to him. Why do you have to give another person? A share is. You can already the You're already in a state where the halacha is that Gans Klai Yisrael does the korban pesach in the state of tuma. So kasover law, Rav Lazar v'Masya. Because Rav held like Rav Lazar Shama and Ayachim Machrei Satzipur Latuma. Like he said that one person can't push the scales, so they wanted to have a second person. Well, then, if one person can't tip the scales, so we, yeah, we go back to Hadar Kushil Duchtai. So then, why don't we say again, yeah, why should we give assurance to one? Let each one do it separately, like Rav said. So we don't understand what's going on here. This is how you have to learn. Since there's a Tana that holds, that even when it's 50 50, everyone doesn't do it the Tuma. And they held like Rav Yehuda that a Corbin Seber isn't divided. So the only other way to solve the problem is Metab and Echad Men in order to separate the, the, the 50 50, they've got to be Matami, somebody Besheretz. However, Ula says, no, you don't have to be Matami, Besheretz, rather, Meshachin Echamem Lederch Rechoka. You send one of the Tahoyrim to China. And then then Memela, the majority, will be Matum, will be in a state of Tum. Freighting Amen, Freighting Amorvi Tamena Besheretz. Isn't it a little easier? To just give a dead sheretz to one of the people rather than send the guy off to China. So Ra'ula, you know what? Because the other giving the sheretz wouldn't solve the problem. Because he holds Shoichtin de Zork and Atami Sheretz. Remember, gentlemen, when you become Tommy the Tuma Sheretz, it's only a one day tuba. So you go to the mikvah in the morning. Once you have hair of Shemesh, once you have the nightfall. You're already tore, so you can eat the Korban Pesach that night. Now, even though maybe when they shechted it, you hadn't gone to the mikveh yet, so you're in a state of Tumah, it doesn't make a difference. Ula holds, shoichtin the zork in al You're allowed to do, even though normally you're, allowed, you're not allowed to do the zrik of the person is Tumah, in this case, you can. Because it's not Tumas mace, which goes on for seven days. That night, you're going to be finished. So therefore, being the Tame, the person with the Tame Sarah, is not going to solve the problem. Okay, the Gemara says, fine, you tell me of the maze. So your solution should be apply Tumas Maze to one of the Tahorim, and then you solve the problem. If we don't do that, ki matchei there's also a, a mitzvah which starts on the 15th day of Nisan to bring the Korban Chagiga. And you have seven days to bring it. However, this guy's going to be Tomei. So you're depriving of the mitzvah Chagiga. Frank the Gemara, why are you worried about the Chagiga? But by being the Tomei him, Volitionally, you're preventing it from bringing the Korban Pesach. So the says, that's not a problem because after David Bishani, Daddy has an out. Korban Chagiga, he doesn't have an out. Once the Yontav is open, over, you can't bring the Korban Chagiga. But by Pesach Shani, if you're Tomei, 
you can bring it Pesach she- by Pesach Rishon. If you're Tommy, you can bring it Pesach Shein. Afraid to Gemara, what do you mean? After David Bishvi. If you were Matame, the guy, heir of Pesach, and if you count the seventh day, the seventh, he'll already be tar on the Shvi, which is the Shmini Shalom, right? The night before, he will have hair of Shemesh, and this will already be his eighth day, if you count, and he'll be able to bring the Korban Chagiga. Oh, Ksavar Ula, Kulu Tashlumim Derisho Ninu. There's a famous machlokas regarding whether the fact that you could bring a korban chagiga all seven days of either Pesach or Sukkot, is it because there are tashlumim of the first day? Or no, the third day is a tashlumim for the second day. The fourth day is a tashlumim for the third day. So Ula holds that the korban chagiga, the fact that you could bring it all seven days is kulu tashlumim de rosh de rishonim. So a person who is Roy on the first day, then he's Roy for the rest. Now, this guy who, who if you're going to be in the time with Thomas Mace, heir of Pesach, he's not going to be Roy on the first day of Pesach. So so then therefore he cannot bring the Korban Chagiga as a Tashlum even on the eighth day, even on the seventh day of, of Pesach, because it can't serve as a Tashlum because on the first day he wasn't Chazig. He wasn't Roy. You're creating so many problems with giving the guy Thomas Mace and you're making him uproot his tent to go to China. You gave you gave no other alternative based on the way you're learning. Okay. Itma. Hayu Ruban Zavin Umiutin Tme Mason. You have the majority of Klai Yisrael is Tomei Zivus or Tomei Snida and a minority with Thomas Mace. Omer Rav, Oisan Tomei Mesim, the ones who are Tomei Mesim, they have a problem. Ein an Oisan loy be Rishon v'lo b'shen. Rishon lo avdi da havi miyuta. The Rishon they don't do because they're in a minority, and only the majority does the Rishon. If you're in a minority, you're usually pushed off to Pesach Sheni. So they don't, you can't do Pesach Rishon. However, the problem is because of you know when you do Pesach Sheni? When the Tzibur did Pesach Rishon. Then Avdi Yochi B'Sheni. But if the Tzibur did, nobody offered the Pesach Rishon, then Lo Avdi Yochi B'Sheni. And since here you have nobody to offer Grishon because the Tumas Ziva can't do it either, the Tumas Ziva are not pushed off to Pesach Sheni because it's only for Tumas Mace the Torah said you can do Pesach Sheni, not Tumas Ziva. Amrilu Shmuel. Zilu Amrilu Abba. Abba was the name of Rav. So Shmuel said, go tell Rav. According to you then, how are they going to fulfill the Pasuk? So what, nobody's going to do the Korban Pesach? So Rob responded. And he said, listen, Zilu, I'm going to go tell Shmuel, well, what if 100% of Klai Yisrael were Tumazav? Well, they can't do the Korban Pesach because they're Tumay. And they're not pushed to Pesach Sheni either. Because only Tumas Mace are pushed to Pesach Sheni. So Kivan Deloy Afshar, so that year there's it's an impossibility to do the court. Loy Afshar, Achanami Loy Afshar. Itma. By the way, we pass him that the Korban Chagigas Kulo Yimei Achag is Tashlumim of Yom Rishon. So somebody's not Roy is. Uh, Cannot bring the on the first day. Cannot bring the rest of the day either. Itmar. Hayu Ruben Tmei Mesi Mumiutin Zavi. Sixty percent were Tomei Mesi. Forty percent were Tomei Zav. Ravuna Amar Ain't Tashlum in Lepesach Habav Betuma. So they bring the the Tomei Mesi brings. The Korban Pesach, but well, they do it in the state of Tumah. 
And that year they don't do Pesach Sheni because Pesach Sheni is only done in a year where the Korban Pesach is brought in the state of Tahara. However, Ravada Baravo, I'm a Yesh Tashrim on the Pesach Ababetuma. There will be opportunity to do Pesach Sheni. Let's say somebody was led to or couldn't do the Pesach Sheni, even though that year the primary Pesach Rishon was done in the state of Tuma, Pesach Sheni will still exist. Name of Ahaka Mifugi. The man Dharma ain't a shuman of Pesach Ababa Tuma, the one who holds that there's no Pesach Sheni Ksavit Tuma Tchuyi Bitsibi. Tuma is not hutra, but rather it's pushed away. It's just set aside. It's not a heter gomer. So since Pesach Rishon was not done like Mitzvah and Amuvchar, it was done the Tuma, then uh, they're not roy to do Pesach Sheni. The man derma yesh tashlum and lepesach abab tumah tzavar tumah hutra b'tzibul. It's like any other Korban Pesach year where it's done with Tahara. So therefore there would be Pesach Shein. Where's his army law? Kulam and Tuma Tchui B'tzibur. It's not a, a hefter. It's a, it's a Dichui. And rather, this is the Bachor. It's a Bahapli. Mar Savar Tahara Matchi. That when the Pesach Rishon is done in the state of Tahara, then, then in a Chanami, they push the Tmei of the Pesach Shein. But Tuma lo matri. But the Korban Pesach done in the state of Tuma will not be matri. Umar sarfil Tuma nami matri. But we paskin that no, if the Korban Pesach was done that year in the state of Tuma, there's no Pesach Sheni for the people who couldn't do it. Itma. Hayu shlishisin zavin, u shlishisin tohoyrin, u shlishisin tohoyrin. One third Zab, one third Tor, one third Tamimes. Om Rabbani Bar Patish. Oisin Tumay Mason. The Tumay Mason again have a problem. Ain Oisin Losa Rishon of Losa Sheni. Rishon Layabdi. Because he Gdilu Zavin Allah Toy. Oisin There's more Zavim than Tohoyrim. And because it's not, there's no between the one third and the one third, you, they don't have a majority of Tumas Mace. So they don't do Rishon the Pesach Sheni. Uh, they don't do Rishon instead of the Tuma. The law, the law of the Tuma, how the late Tumay Mace and Miuta. The Tumay Mace and Miuta, Miuta, law of the Rishon. They can't do Pesach the Tuma. Because they're not Mr. Fu Zavid and Tame Mason, they add the Zavid with the Tame Mason, Law did the Rishon, Havalu Rubo, the Rubo, Lomach Le Pesach Sheni. And the majority, only Miutim are pushed off to Pesach Sheni, like Yechidim. So in that situation, the Tame Mason do not do, not the Rishon, not the Sheni. Of course, the Zavim don't do it either. So the Tohoyrim do it by themselves. Mishnah. HaPesach Shenizrach Damoy V'achakach Noide Shehu Tamei Normally, if we know that somebody is Tamei, either the meat or a person, you wouldn't do Zrika Saddam. But let's say when, they, when the coin did the Zrika, he thought the, the meat of the Korban Pesach was perfectly good. Then they found out that the meat was Tamei that's what the tzitz is for. And therefore, he's Yodse the Korn Pesach and he's Potter from Pesach Sheni. Nit Mahaguf. But let's say when they did, when they when they did the Zrika, they found out that the Balim were Tommy, then Einat Sitz Maratz. The Tzitz is not Maratza if unknown to the coin who did the Zrika, the people were Tommy Betumas Aguf. And they would be chayv to do Pesach Sheni. Because at the time of the Zrika, they were really not uh, roy to do the Korban Pesach. 
the Mesha Amra Nazar voice of Pesach by the Sugi of Nazar voice of Pesach had seats for Ratzal Tumas Adam. That if the dam became tame, then you could still throw it. If you did, means you shouldn't throw it. But if you threw it, but the abed it sits as maratza. However, in that sits maratza tumas aguf, but it sits will not be maratza tumas aguf. Nitma tumas atahoim. Let's say a person didn't know that he was tame. That's called the tumas atahoim. He walked in a field. There was a kever there. He didn't know that he walked over it. He's told later on, you know what? The field that you walked in or the, or the stone that you sat on, there was a, a, a corpse under there, near there. Now, if he found out before they, they did this Rika Saddam, then of course he would have to do Pesach Sheni. However, if, if they found out only afterwards, then he does not have to do Pesach Sheni. It's a special din of Tumas Atom. He didn't know about it. Then the Tzitz will be Meratzah. Time of the Nizrak Bachakach Noida. The reason why the, the, it worked in the Reisha is because they did this Rika, they didn't know. Avol Noida, if he knew about it, Bachakach Nizrak Noida Meratze. Lachor, if he did it, but Mazin, right? He knows that the guy who was told he did it anyways, it's not Meratze. So the Gemara asked the Kasha, Verminu. Al Matzitz Meratze, Al Adam, Al Abbas, Al Achim, Shinitma. If you have a Corbin in the blood or the, the meat or the chale of Gatame, here's the key word. Bain Bishogeg Bain Bamezi. Lachura, if you even if you did the Zrika Bamezi, Bain Borders, Bain Borats, and Bain Yochab Bain Mitzibor, that sits as Maratza. So how can you tell me from the deal that you tried to make that if you knew about it and then didn't then did the Zrika, it's not Maratza? It is Maratza based on this price. Amar Ravina. Tumaso, that means how the how the person became Tommy. Bain Bishogig, Bain Bemezid, that sits as Maratza if they threw it, they didn't know about it. Now, Zrikoso, the act of Zrika, if you don't know what the guy's status is, Bishogin, you threw it, Hurtza. But if you know what the guy's status is, then he, and then you've amazed it through it, lowered so. That's how Ravina is metallic. Rav Shilo Omar Zrikaso, Ben Bishogi, Ben Bemezid Hurtso. You know what? When you do the Zrika, whether you, even if you know that the guy was Tommy, you do it Bemezid, it's the Sitz is Maratza. However, Tumaso, how the cordon became Tommy, if it became Tommy Bishogi, then Hurtza, the Mazid, Lo Hurtza. So the Gemara wants to know the Hadi Tani Bain Beshogi Bain Bemazid. It seems to be referring to both Tumaso and Zrikoso. So the Gemara, Achi Koma, this I have to understand. Nitma Beshoige, the Korban became Tome through a Shkoga. And then Zrako Bain Beshogi Bain Bemazid. Then the coin did Zrika, whether he knew that it was Tommy or not, then Hurtza. Again, the Gemara doesn't like that. You know why it's good? Because when he did the Zrika, he didn't know. So how can you tell me the Mezid is Hurtza? So the Gemara says, no, who had the feel of Noida Vachakach Nizrak? It would be Hurtza. Ay, Bahai Diktani. Nizrak v'achakach noida, it's just done like a, a literary literary style. Mishum the boy is safer because later on the safe is going to say nit mahaguf. If it's not the bossa that it's tummy, but rather the body that's tummy, ain't that sits maratza. That there the filu nizrak v'achakach noida. That there even the zrika is done when he didn't know about it. It doesn't work. So tani reishon nami nizrak v'achakach noida. But really, in fact. If he did know about it in the case of the, the boss becoming Tommy Bishogay, it will work even if he knew about it when, that it was Tommy at that time. Since it happened Bishogay, it works out that it's okay. Then the Mishnah said, Nitma Tomasatahoy, that if a person became Tommy through an unknown Tuma, and then only later on they find after the Zrika, we say that Sitz is Maratza for that. So, boy, Rabbi Barcham. 
Koyin Amaratza B'Korban Naseyem. The Koyin is doing Zrika for the Korban Pesach or a Nazir. Hutrulon Tumas Atahoyim Olam. Is the is the Corbin going to be okay? Because the tuma, if the tuma is a tuma satahoyim, that means it's an unknown tuma. Me, I mean a kig miri tuma satahoyim, but buy me. You know when it would, will work if the owners of the Corbin were infected with tuma satahoyim. But the koyin, what if the koyin had tuma satahoyim? That's lo gemiri that we didn't learn. Or yimu bezivcha gemiri. We, in general, we talked about any aspect of the Corbin, whether it's a Corbin Pesach or a Nazir, it makes no difference whether the Tumo is with the coin or the Tumo is by the Bible. That's the theoretical question. the Toshma, the Tani Rav Chia, Loyam, the Tumo Satoim, and the Lameis The Subya of Tumo Satoim is not Tumo Sheretz. Or Tumas Ziva, it's an unknown Tumas Mace that's somewhere. And you became infected by it and you didn't know about it. Now, by saying Tumas Mace, Mace Lamu Ute Mai, what are you excluding? Lav Lamu Ute Tumas Atahoim Desherets? It seems to be excluding that if you became Tommy the Tumas Sheretz and you didn't know about it, you don't have a head there. So the Gemara doesn't understand of my Askinah. E name of a baile. Now, who are we talking? We, we have two possibilities. Either the owner of the Corbin became Tame or the coin became Tame. So let's start first with the Sugi of the Bible. E name of a baile. Uveman. What kind of baile? E ben Nazir. Let's say a Nazir who has to bring his Corbonis. And then all of a sudden we find out he became Tame. Mi baani be kiyomus meisalav amrachmana. This Mishnah is not going to help him. A Tumasheret doesn't break a Nazir's Nazirus. It's only Tumas Meis that does it. That's based on Posuk. It says, V'chiyamus Meis Allah, V'fesa Pitom, V'tome Rosh Nizro, V'gilech Rosho, V'yom Tarasu, V'yom Ashri Yigal Chenu. It's only related to Tumas Mays. And it's not Tumas Sherat. It can't be talking about Tumas Sherat. Maybe it's not a Nazar. We're talking about somebody's bringing Corbin Pesa. But that's only problematic, Tumas Sherat. According to the opinion, right? There is a Mandoma that says that even though tonight, of the night of Pesach, after Herod of Shemesh, the Tuma Sheretz will be gone and you'll be able to eat it. But because now he is Tame the Tuma Sheretz, you don't do Shkit and Zrika for him. So fine, that would be problematic. But El Mando Omar, like we learned before tonight, that there is a Mando Omar who holds Shrek in the Zork and Al Tame Sheretz, that you're allowed to do the Shkit and the Zrika on a, on, on a Bailim who's Tame Sheretz. So Hash the Tuma you do it, let's say we know for sure. That he's Tome Sheret, not Tumas at the home. It's permitted to Shech the Korban Pesach for him. Tumas at the home, Lakol Shekei. So certainly would be permitted if you don't know about it. So we cannot be dealing with the Bailin. El Alav B'Koyin. We're talking about a Koyin is Tumas at the home. Ushma Mina, Hutra Loi Tumas at the home. Tumas at the home seems to be permitted to him. On Rav Yosef, Lo. Nothing doing. You can't learn that way. We're talking about the owners. Uve Pesa. Not Nazir, but Pesa. But what are we excluding? You walked, you walked over some spit of the Ziva of, of, of someone who was Tomei Tumazav, and you don't know about it. There, the sits is not Miratza. It is by Thomas Mates, but Thomas Atahoy, but not Thomas Ziva. Freight the Gomorrah, the Thomas Tahoy, the Ziva, Lomaratza. 
what unknown tuma ziva that if you do the korban that sits is not meratza. I'm going to show you that it is meratza. Vatanya. Rabbi Yosi Yoyner. Shomeres Yoyim Keneged Yoyim. So in the times of Chazal, a woman had seven days of Nidus followed by 11 days of Zivus. So if they bled in the first seven days, she's a Tomei Nida. But as long as she stops bleeding and she's pr prohibited to live with her husband, as long as on the seventh day she stops bleeding for some period of time, that night she could go to the mikvah, she could live with her husband. They didn't need Zion Nikiyim. It's not like we have Zion Nikiyim, we need to wait seven clean days because we are concerned that whenever a woman sees blood, it might be the third day of Tuma Ziva. That's the Chumrah we've taken on. And therefore, we don't have relations for another seven days because she might be Tuma Ziva, which you have to count seven clean days. But the times of Chazal wasn't like that. You had seven days of Nidus, then 11 days of Zivus. Now, in those 11 days of Zivus, if you bled for one day, you kept one clean day, that's called a Shomeris Yom Keneged Yom, and you could go to the mikvah and have relations with your husband after that other day. Same thing if you bled for two days. Again, you needed one day. And then, again, you go to the mikvah and you would be permitted to your husband after that, that the third day. Now, if you bled for three days in a row during the Yemei Zivus, then you became a Tumas Zava. And you have to count seven clean days. So, Rabbi Yosef Yom Shemer Yom Keneged Yom. Let's say the woman was her clean day that she was trying to keep clean was heir of Pesach. So that night, if she doesn't see more blood, she would be permitted to her, she would be told. So let's say they shechted the Korban Pesach for her in the afternoon. It's similar like a Tumah Sheretz. Tumah Sheretz, but this is Tumah Ziva. It's a different category of Tumah. So Shemer Shem Kinegi Yom Shishachtu V'zorak Waleha. Basheni Shalah, right on the second day when she's trying to become clean. But now, maybe an hour after the Shechita's Pesach, she sees the blood. So now it's a problem. She's Tomei now, it's got to keep another clean day. However, at the time that they Shechted and did the Zrika, it was potential that she could be clean tonight. So the din is. Eina ochelas. Of course, she doesn't eat the korban pesach tonight because she's tome. However, p'turim alaso is pesach sheni. She's not put to pesach sheni because at the time they did it, it was like tumas at my time. Alavi shum de meratzet sits. The sits was meratzet for that type of tuma, even though it's tumas ziva. Gemara says I'm low. So Gemara will give us a different terrace as to why we don't accept that. Okay. 